And we're back on the spaceship because I was actually someone watched our videos. I did. And discovered that the scientist was pointing at a bunch of cartridges that I should have gone to and picked up. And he said a keyword called magnetic fields. And we were bitching about it for a while and had no idea what it meant. So I looked in the manual and the manual had something that looked like the console input code. So I am going there and I am going to input the console code for magnetic fields, which is uh, this guy. Um, this guy? Yes. This guy. And it again. That guy. Okay. I'm here, and by uh, looked at the manual, he means he cheated. But we are just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I didn't cheat. That is, the, that would be in the manual if we had one. Where do you get the manual? Um, it comes with the game if we, you know, didn't have a downloaded version. You mean an emulator, right? Yeah. Okay. So, if this was 1991, we would have the manual in hand and be looking at it. So wait, did you actually Five lose our files? Or... No, the files are still there. It's just, uh, I'm going back and replaying these. So we're just replaying this entire thing. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be nice to you guys, and we're going to fast forward from this point till we get back on the planet. So... Oh, thank god. I was about to be so bored. See you in a little bit. Thank you. And the fast forward took longer than we expected. It's a few days later. And, what? Um, now we continue. Uh, what do you mean the fast forward was two days later? A couple days later? Or days later? That only took a little while. Yeah, a few seconds. How was it days later? Oh my god, are we time travelers? The rocks are useless. At the slight, slightest touch, they crumble to dust. That's lame. You feel a sense of ridiculous keep you from walking off the edge and falling to certain death on the treacherous rocks below. Woo, that was close. How come we can't fall to death there, but we could fall to death earlier? I don't know. It's probably because we're very talented people. The bones, though utterly dehydrated, still bear too much mass for the puny likes of you to displace. So... No, you don't have to read everything. We can just keep going. It was only flowers. an idea. Flowers. Those flowers? Oh, pretty. You snag a small oh. cluster of leaves from the gooey plant. Ew. It's kind of gross. They said they were flowers, not a gooey plant. The stuff sticks worse than Fortnite old undergarments. It's a good thing your gloves are teflon coated. Teflon coated. Like you said, you don't have to read it if you don't want to. Just saying. Or a plant. You don't have to hold it down, remember what that does? All right. This looks bad. Let's touch it. What started out at one time as mere hairline fracture are now clearly cracks the imperfect vertebrae. Oh shit. Well now what? Out of the corner I use spot in object hurt, hurtling from the greenish atmosphere towards the parched surface you currently occupy. Rats. 
If the eyes don't deceive, that's a Seer and Spider Droid. They must have have detected the escape pod leaving the Arcadia. The Spider Droid must have been sent along to settle any unfinished business. After the jarring impact, small panels open through the leg sprouts. You recall reading an old issue of Space Pistons magazine that the droid was designed to seek out organic life forms and self-destruct when close proximity to the target has been achieved. Did we set a cat for it? We did. There's no time to do anything. I know, but remember, now we have to go back and resave. How convenient. You've been blown into handy bite-sized chunks. I guess the that Space Piston article won't, wasn't fiction. There's nothing quite like stretching out and enjoying wide open spaces. So I guess we're supposed to run from it when it comes. That seems like the right thing. I mean, it did tell you exactly what it was going to do, and you did just kind of stand there. I was going to throw some sort of life form at it, but uh, there wasn't really much of an area to run to anyways. Just run anywhere. And hope for the best. You have any ideas? Um, what? N no. I, I don't really have that many ideas, but, um, if you want, you can always just not go there immediately and get a uh, trap set up somewhere. You mean the vertebrae? Yeah. Like, you can set up a sticky trap or something, I don't know. And then just lead it into that. Oh, you can also just walk up on top of the vertebrae. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, just, just, just click everywhere. Here it comes again. Hmm. You might want to save. Instead of falling through that. I'd say widening of those cracks is an excellent indication that this thing is not truly a stable unit. And don't you hate the way it makes your brain bounce around like a handball in that spare cranial space? I just realized something. Which microphone are we- oh. I just figured out which microphone we're using. It says it right on the recording software. I can't see that over here. Yes, I can't. I can't. Shush. Thingy. North central bound of this mass skeleton surrounded by. Um, looks kind of like a cave, but I don't know if you can go in there. Looks interesting, a little hard to tell from where he may be standing. I guess we should move closer. No. And then we follow into it! Yay! Hey, what the deal here? The elevator... The elevator doesn't lower, it sucks. The slag to, uh, slagmite has been obviously broken loose and previously set back in its place. The being responsible, most likely your carrion counterpart tried to fool everyone else by using some sticky goo to hold it together like that would actually fool anyone. 
The word was gunk. You flex those incredible muscles you wish you had, and you're barely able to snap loose a previously fractured stalagmite tip. Tentacle. It's a great monster. I bet he's lonely and just wants to be your friend. I want to test that theory. New friend. That's a great way to save this. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He was lonely and hungry. You've been snatched out of... Uh, out of existence by the tentacle beast lurking beneath the grate, you feel a painful sting of digestive fluids. That's Don't a stop lovely now. Thing. We've been having so much fun watching you. Well, um, I could stab him. It's hungry. Maybe you should have kept that after all. What did you throw? The <laughs> stalactite. Well, why don't you try throwing something else, like... Sounds from the grate would not Lovely. improve by running them through the translator. Oh, it's a translator gadget. Oh. I want to stab him with the knife. You <laughs> might be able to cut off one head, but meanwhile there would be turning towards you in a... <laughs> Why don't we throw the sticky thing at it? Wait, wait, wait. I had that right? I was kidding. I want to cut off a tentacle. Only the head. Only the head. Only the head. My god. That still, I still feel like that shouldn't have worked. It's an odd closed door with no parental mechanism for opening. Hit it with a hammer. Hit it with the stalagmite. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, wait. wait. That actually worked. Tiny cracks in the ceiling, several small drops of liquid scrum to the influence of gravity. Green swimming pool. I'm gonna call it a swimming pool, and I'm sure it's I'm just gonna die. Dude, I just realized that we need to come back to this. Ah! <laughs> in fact, now might be a great time to come back to this. that one against the new aim. How he blew it, Cam, and chalkboard. I have to say that carefully, Mark. Every time we mention something with this trademark or copyright, the lawyers come back with a feed. Instant replay! Now, this is where Roger makes the fatal move. <laughs> and we can all see the result of that mistake. I don't know about you, Scott. Personally, I'd like to know exactly what yeah. I'm messing with before I actually mess with it. I guess he'll know better next time. Out. Sure, you died a few deaths before, but this one really burns you. Planets are depending on you. Seeing you do stuff like this is definitely not making them nervous. Hmm. I don't see any way we can, like... Try something with glass in it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just saying touch it with stuff. Yeah. 
Um, I feel like we might need that. But not till later. We don't have anything to like. Oh, this is what you use the glass for. Yeah, that was very obvious. But we should do this next time, shouldn't we? Uh, I guess we can do it this time. Since I already did it. You're quite clever, turning the beam upon itself, frying and fusing it into a state of inoperability. And we will continue this path next time on Space Quest.